हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू क्लासिक एजुकेशन यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम महेश पुंडीबीज ए फैकल्टी मेंबर फॉर यू पी एस एंड आई बी पी एस एस फ्रेंड्स सो आई विल बी टीचिंग क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड सो टुडे आई हैव कम अप विथ ए इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक वाई सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स और इन सिंपल वर्ड्स वाई वी हैव टू प्रिपेयर फॉर सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स नाउ मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वाई स्टूडेंट्स आर नॉट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट दैट इज द पॉइंट हेयर विच वी नीड टू नोट इट इज़ बिकॉज Uh, most of the students have a problem with the quantitative aptitude or in simple if i want to tell that maths maths is the major problem now students they are not preparing for central government job just because quantitative aptitude or maths is weak but one thing you all have to understand that maths or quantitative aptitude that you are going to appear in the central government job is not of that difficult level which you are thinking okay so it is not you are not going to get anything from your pu level if you are studied pu c science then you are not going to get integration differentiation or trigonometry okay in your examination yeah certainly in some exams it will be there but most of the central government jobs okay do not have these topics so you see you try to understand quantitative aptitude okay it is the basic basic maths you can say in simple words like suppose if you know addition subtraction multiplication and division suppose if you know these basic things okay then definitely you can prepare for quantitative aptitude okay so there are certain topics which you need to understand okay so definitely by thinking on the logical basis also you will be able to solve the questions in quantitative aptitude so you need not to worry about maths so maths is not that difficult which you are thinking so it is the basic maths so even if you know these four things just now i told you right you will be able to solve the problems if you know the right concepts right so uh, in central government jobs and this is one thing that majority of the students are having the problem now why to prepare for central government jobs see there are many advantages so i am not going to talk about the post or i am not going to talk about the facilities that you get what are holidays that you are going to get definitely i am not going to talk about that you all know about it okay so why we are going to prepare for central government examination it is because of the number of vacancies that we get that is the first thing second thing regular basis of exam okay so you all know that in central government exams there are different departments like upsc ssc railways ibps okay so these are the different okay departments where the notifications are out now suppose for example i am talking about a round figure okay suppose if you talk about round figure also approximately i am telling you that around 50000 jobs will be there okay per year okay i am telling you approximately or let me make it more simple in this way you can suppose if you are preparing for central government examination then you are going to write the exam for every 3 months so suppose if you write a exam today any one post i am talking about then after 3 months you will be writing another central government job right so that means you will be having consistently you will be having the exams right so these are the certain uh, advantages of uh, the central government exams right now now here i have already written so that there will be a regular updates of the exams okay exam notifications will be suppose for example now ssc notification is out after ssc if you are going to write the examination after ssc ibps will ex, uh, ibps will uh, out the notification so in ibps also you can out for clerical or po or in rrb okay in ibps only rrb regional banks okay so there also different level posts will be there so again those exams will be coming right after that uh, rrb that is railway recruitment board he will out some notifications okay so in ssc itself there are different exams again in upsc not only civil service exams okay so even they are going to okay uh, log they are also going to out some of the other notifications also so shortly we will come up with another video okay so which department will organize or will notify notify you in the different exam so what all exams are there so we will come up with that video also in the uh, short uh, days okay now 
to prepare for central government examination as i told you maths will be major problem reasoning will be there and another problem that i have observed is english now one thing you understand here english is not that difficult okay or you don't need english of that level which you are thinking of so basically if you read any of the question if you understand what he is trying to tell me in that question if you understand this much that much is more than sufficient and i think most of the time most of the maximum of the students have have that much limited knowledge if you have studied till 10th level okay so basically the questions that come in the examination or the english that comes in the examination for central government it will be up to 10th level basis right you see you observe any of the question papers that you want okay might be in ssc or in any of the ibps examination if you observe it properly the language of the question will be of that level okay so again you need not to worry about that also right so one thing about maths i will tell you now shortly in the youtube session okay we are going to launch okay i am going to take i am going to start a series called as basics of quantitative aptitude so where i personally will be teaching you from very basic level okay so i will just be polishing your basics okay so that you will get a idea that yes maths is not that difficult in what way we have thought about maths right so just to clear if you know addition subtraction multiplication and division that much is more than sufficient you just attend my classes in the youtube it will be absolutely free okay shortly we will start okay within two or three days we will start okay so uh, attend that series properly okay without any missing right now if you join your preparation for your preparation for the central government jobs if you prepare along with us or if you join classic institute okay start classic isnks study circle so if you join then what are the advantages you are going to get okay so first thing whatever is the syllabus exactly for if you are preparing for ssc if you are preparing for railways if you are preparing for banking okay whatever the syllabus will be there exactly we will prepare according to that syllabus okay especially in the okay banking examination okay whatever the syllabus is quantitative aptitude reasoning english and general awareness or you can say banking awareness for ibps i am talking about right so our classes are always result oriented now one example if i want to give you in the recent karnataka bank exam result it declared it as results and most of the students from our institute have qualified for the mock inter uh, for the interviews and on the behalf of our classic institute we organized mock interviews in our institute only right so tomorrow i think their interviews are going to that is from 5th september the interviews are going to be held right so this is uh, the uh, advantages that is our classes are result oriented right and different question papers will be solved okay different question papers like ssc rrb okay in ssc only there are many other examination like cgl chsl mts stenography je okay these are in je quantitative aptitude will be not be there only reasoning will be there okay fine and you see uh, we have mentioned a point here that especially in maths okay so we will be teaching you okay we will be teaching you the shortcuts we will be teaching you the alternate methods and also various concept we will get into the concept depth in such a way that maximum number of questions that come in your examination will be solvable within 30 seconds now here you have to observe or note a point here the examiner also knows in what all direction the students will think okay so sometimes what happens okay he will frame a question which will be calculative which will be bit difficult which will be bit lengthy okay so in that scenario we have to spend some time in solving those or most of the times okay if there are some certain questions then the better option will be to leave the question okay so i am talking about the major problems okay that will be able to that you will be able to solve it in within 30 seconds right then one more fear that i have observed a very important point 
okay that i have observed is students have fear of attending because most of the central government examinations okay uh, are computer based test cbt okay they are computer based test you need to attempt it okay online okay so students have fear of handling okay the online exams because uh, they might have attended offline mode of exam so they are not comfortable with the online mode so to just remove that fear okay so we are going to conduct okay computer based test computer based exam in our institute only okay so we are going to conduct the test for your betterment just to make you completely comfortable so whenever you go to the examination hall for the central government exam you should not feel that something new i am going to do okay so it should become a comfortable it should become a regular mode of okay thing to you right so these uh, a practice will be done in our institute and apart from this once when the syllabus is completed when you will be practicing in your home so in that case also in those days also we will be with you okay we have our classic education app we will be continuously providing you the test series in the app itself so that whenever you are uh, studying in the home okay those uh, test series with the help of those test series you can practice in the home also time management so everything everything is available in a classic right fine uh, now let us uh, uh, talk about the syllabus okay though this is the major syllabus okay major if you are preparing for any of the central government examination these are the major four subjects okay quantitative aptitude reasoning english and general awareness okay so these are the major uh, syllabus for your central government exam as per my knowledge okay as per uh, i have observed majority i am telling you quantitative aptitude and reasoning will be the 60% syllabus for most of the uh, for example in rrb railway recruitment board banking examination even in ssc also so these two are the major syllabus for your preparation that means suppose if you are preparing for if you are preparing these two subjects properly okay then 60% of your syllabus is covered now english in some examinations english is included like for example in ssc and banking examination english is included but in rrb exam it is also a central government their english is not there okay so their english is not there so in that case english will not be there so their general awareness will come okay so depending upon the different exams okay so syllabus will vary but these are the main four subjects that you need to study for your central government exams right now once uh, if you take the coaching from classic institute okay what all exams you can attempt okay so i have given a heading here that if you take once if you take a bank exam preparation suppose if you are taking bank coaching okay from our institute then what all exams you are going to attempt so here there are some uh, exams okay like ssc cgl chsl let me tell you one thing in ssc cgl examination and csl uh, chsl examination uh, there is one additional subject or you can say additional topics that you need to study that is advanced maths okay where you need to study trigonometry heights and distance okay uh, then geometry okay so these are some additional topics that you need to uh, study okay so uh, suppose if you are uh, preparing for this uh, examination additional guidance will be given to you so you need not to worry about it right then comes gd okay ssc gd ssc mts recently ssc mts exam was conducted now they have uh, left the answer keys also and you see uh, this exam is on a 10th level basis okay multitasking uh, staff okay so here four sections so just now i told you about this okay these four sections were there okay so quantitative aptitude was asked quantitative aptitude quantitative aptitude of was of 25 marks this was of 25 marks this was of 25 marks and this was of 25 marks so 100 questions 90 minutes this was the mts exam right so it was a very easy exam suppose if you have okay uh, if you want to see the question papers also you just refer these question papers okay mts exam 
right then comes SI SSC SI now in simple words if I want to tell you then if you are preparing for PSI examination then it is a similar post but in armed forces okay so the prelims exam for this will be almost equal to the IBPS examination and in second exam that is in the mains examination you will be having essay writing pressure writing and letter writing okay so this this exam will include that just like your PSI exam okay just like your PSI exam but this post will be in the armed forces then comes SST stenographer okay so suppose the prelims will be almost the same like MTS level it will be of that but additional to that you should know stenography okay that one skill if you know uh, if you know about stenography if you have, have uh, any idea about stenography there will be separate exam for this okay which you need to attempt okay so these are certain exams and here there are some more exams like RRB NTPC okay so RRB NTPC the notification was out in 2018 and this exam was conducted in 2021 due to uh, covid and all uh, due to lockdown so the exam was postponed and in 2021 the exam was conducted around uh, okay 133 shifts the exam was conducted and around 1.5 crore students had appeared for this exam okay so post were uh, uh, number of posts were more here so what i have observed is in this 133 sets okay i have observed the uh, questions of all 133 uh, shifts or sets okay and one thing i have observed especially from the maths okay especially from the maths 60 percent of the questions were from basic mode believe me 60 percent of the questions were from basic mode like for example most of the uh, time this question has come uh, especially in rrb in tpc only non-technical popular category that a is 25 percent more than b then b is what percent less than a so hardly 10 seconds is more than sufficient to solve this question i know that okay so these type of questions okay are been asked in the maths so those who have the fear of competitive examination once you try okay once you try to learn this subject okay and you see it is very easy right then rrb lp exam now there is a uh, 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 there is a chances that in the month of October or in the month of November okay so these two uh, ALP group D and along with this J RRB J uh, notification will be out almost there is a probability okay because uh, the in 2019 okay so there was one uh, okay tweet of then uh, railway minister okay so they are going to out the notifications for this so there is it is not officially declared but there is a high chances of being okay these exams are going to be conducted the notification will be out probably in the next month or in the month of november okay so uh, you prepare for these examinations alp assistant loco pilot and there is uh, last time uh, in 2017 okay 18 okay two times uh, rrb group d exam was conducted or rrb group d exam notification was out 18th 17th exam is already conducted 18 is going on presently it is running so due to uh, covid and all the exams were postponed so once when this is been completed again a fresh notification will be out it is said that i am not 100 percent sure that uh, for rrb group d okay iti those who have done iti only those students will be appeared for this i am not confirm about it it is said last time before the notification was out in 2018 it was said like that let us uh, let the official notification be out then we will discuss in depth about this right then lic in 2018 the notification was out recently the exam uh, again the notification was out of uh, lic exam see lic rbi fci all these exams along with ibps okay so these have exact the same syllabus just like ibps examination for banking exam, same syllabus okay so the even the question paper pattern wills almost same okay almost it is same for all these examinations okay so these are the certain informations that i wanted to give so here i told you that in ibps okay uh, this examination IBPS and here 
okay so lic IB, uh, rbi fci all these examinations have the same exam pattern okay same exam pattern as like this exams right then uh, assistant command exams will be there uh, in indian navy okay indian navy and army examination uh, suppose if you are appearing for a 10th level basis or pew level basis then uh, banking level coaching will more more than sufficient for this exam okay and lastly any aptitude exam like suppose for example if you are a, uh, a degree student pursuing degree then you see after your degree exams okay suppose if you are an engineer also all right after your uh, there will be campus drives okay in different uh, places might be in your college also so there the first basic thing the first exam that will be conducted will be aptitude test okay so 25 marks aptitude test will be there so definitely it will help you for that exam also right so these are the different examinations that i wanted to uh, talk about okay and how to prepare for this examination so generally i told you okay so these four subjects are very important for central government exams especially maths and reasoning even english also okay so these are the important uh, subjects that you need to study again i am telling you it is not that difficult as you are thinking so shortly within two or three days we are going to come up with a series especially i will be teaching you basics of quantitative aptitude so here we are not going to get it to that depth like ibps mains examination and all nothing like that but basics and we will also discuss from the basic level only what are the questions that have come in the examination okay so i will give you with proof i will tell you okay that from basics only what all questions have come in the central government job exams right so that's all for the day dear students okay so i wish you all the best for your preparation so stay tuned okay and thank you and have a nice day